I've helped thousands of people create a daily writing habit, and I can do it for you too. So whether you're trying to write a book, you want to start a blog, or you finally want to get that movie idea into a screenplay, all of that is really hard to do if you're not writing at all. So we got to create that habit. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the three-step process that ensures you can create a daily writing habit. My name is Tim Grawl. I'm the CEO of StoryGrid, and I've been working with writers for over 15 years. My partner, Sean Coyne, is the creator and founder of StoryGrid, and he's a writer and editor with over 30 years of experience. Way back in 2011, there was a Stanford professor named B.J. Fogg, and he studied social science, and he came up with this idea of tiny habits. It was a three-step process for adding new habits to your life. And so what I'm about to teach you is based on what he found in 2011, and I've expanded to work specifically with writers. So the three-step process is really simple. You have an anchor, a tiny habit, and celebration. So let's just go through each of those. Step one is the anchor. We all have habits in our life. They are the way that we get through our life, whether it's how you get up in the morning, your morning routine, your nighttime routine, what you eat for lunch, we all have lots and lots of habits that we automatically do each day to just get through our life. And I'm gonna say an aside here just to remind you, notice you have a lot of habits in your life. Most of them are probably pretty good for you. They're helping you actually live and get to the next day. So you do have the ability to create good habits. I just wanna remind you of this because a lot of times when I walk writers through this, they failed so many times that they think, oh, I'm a loser. I can't create habits. That's not true. You've got lots of great habits in your life. We're just going to add one more. But the idea of this anchor is that we're going to take the new habit and we're going to attach it to a habit that you already have. So I'm going to come back to this. But step one is the anchor. That's a particular habit that you already have. Step two is the actual habit and we wanna make it a tiny habit. So we're gonna take whatever habit we're trying to create and we're gonna reduce it to the smallest possible thing we can do. So of course we're talking about writing in this context and so many writers, when they set out to start their writing habit, they decide I'm gonna write a thousand words a day. I'm gonna write 2000 words a day. And you know what? I blame Stephen King because if you read his book on writing, which is a fantastic book, I've read it many, many times. Highly suggest the Audible book. It's just fun hearing Stephen King talk about writing. But in there, he says, you've got to start with writing at least a thousand words a day. But the problem is, if you have up to this point devoted no time to your writing and you automatically try to jump to a thousand words a day, which is probably going to take you at least an hour, the odds that you fail are really, really high. That's too big of a habit. So we need to cut that down to a smaller habit. So you may be thinking at this point, all right, let's cut it in half. Let's get it down to 500 words. No, 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 no. Still too high. I want you to start with 100 words a day. That's right, one, zero, zero, 100 words a day. That's gonna be your tiny habit. We're gonna take this idea of writing every single day, that's the habit we're trying to create, and we're gonna break it down into a tiny habit of just a hundred words. So step two is the tiny habit. Step three is the celebration. And I'm gonna tell you right up front, this part's a little silly. It feels a little weird, but you've gotta do it. The research shows, this is what BJ Fogg found, is that if you do the celebration part, the odds of you continuing to do the habit go way, way up. So we've gotta celebrate in some way. So whether you give yourself a pat on the back, whether you give yourself a high five, whether you say, I did it, or I'm awesome, you have to have some sort of celebration after you do the tiny habit. So that's the celebration. We're gonna do something to celebrate the fact that we just did our habit for the day. Those are the three steps. We have the anchor, the tiny habit, and the celebration. So let's look at some non-writing examples really quickly. A really simple example would be something like trying to floss your teeth. We all know we should be flossing you're probably not flossing your teeth, but you probably are brushing your teeth. So that is the anchor. Brushing your teeth is the habit you already have that we're gonna anchor to. Now we gotta select our tiny habit. We're gonna floss literally one tooth. That's the goal. We're just gonna floss one tooth and then we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate by saying, I did it out loud. You brush your teeth. As soon as you're done brushing your teeth, you grab some floss, you floss one tooth, and then you stop and say, I did it. And now you've got your tiny habit 
and you do that every single day. Another example might be you want to start walking every day for exercise. Again, so many people decide, I'm going to start walking three miles a day or I'm going to start walking an hour a day. No, 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 no. We're going to do a tiny habit. So let's say every day you go out to check the mail. That's going to be your anchor. Every day you go out to check the mail, that's the anchor. So you go out to get the mail, you open the box, you pull out the mail, and now you're going to walk just 50 yards. Literally 25 yards one direction, 25 yards back. You can even check the mail, open it up, and start reading it while you're walking. So the anchor is you grab the mail, you walk 25 yards one way, you turn around and you come back. When you get back to your mailbox, you give yourself a high five because you just did your tiny habit for the day. So now let's talk about why you came to watch this video in the first place. You want a daily writing habit. So what are we going to do? First, you got to find an anchor. What is that habit you're automatically going to attach to? Now, because you have to write, I recommend you have a little slack, at least five minutes in your schedule around it. And it needs to be close to the tool that you use to write. So for most of us, it's going to be a laptop desktop computer. So one that I highly recommend is if the first thing you do in the morning is get up and start making coffee, I recommend you turn the coffee on and while it's brewing, you write your hundred words. But your anchor can be anything that works for you. It could be getting in bed at night. You have a nighttime routine, you jump in bed, that could be your anchor as well. You just have to pick a habit that has a little bit of space around it, about five minutes, and that you do every single day that can be your anchor. Now we're on to step two, and we've already talked about this. It's going to be a hundred words. And I want to just hammer on this again. A hundred words is the right thing. Think about what a hundred words will mean. If you write a hundred words a day for an entire year, you will have 36,500 words written. That's novella length. Now think about that. Right now you're not writing anything. And if you write just a hundred words a day, for an entire year, you're gonna have a novella length work of writing. That's pretty amazing. So 100 words a day, that's what I want you to start with. And then you celebrate. And you can come up with whatever celebration you need to do. What I don't want you to do is just make it mental. You can't just mentally think, oh, I did a good job today. I need it to be out loud, or you need to give yourself a treat. For instance, if you love your coffee and you start brewing your coffee, you're not allowed to drink your coffee until you have your 100 words, and that's how you celebrate. But whatever it is, make sure it's something that's fun, that makes you feel good. And yes, even if it's silly, even if you feel a little weird, it's okay. Make sure you do the celebration. That is how we're going to create our tiny habit. We're going to anchor it to an existing habit. We're only going to do 100 words, and then we're going to celebrate. And we got to do something that makes us feel good. And you do that every single day. Okay, that's the tiny habit system from BJ Fogg. Those three steps, they work really great, but I've been working with writers for a long time. Like I said, I've got a few things to add to it that'll up your odds of success. Number one, keep a log. Just keep track of how many days you're actually writing. So whether you use an app on your phone or even just a note on your phone or you even buy one of those calendars where you cross off the days as you do them, whatever it is, just keep track of each day that you actually write, just so that you can look back at it later and see your progress. The other thing here is you are allowed to keep writing past the 100 words, but what I want you to have in your mind is it counts when you hit 100. So when you hit 100 words, you stop and you celebrate. And then if you have some more time, you have some momentum, you are allowed to keep going. It's not like you're not allowed to write more words, but the goal, the habit, is a hundred words. If you just have a really rough day and you barely get your hundred words in, that counts. You give yourself a high five, you drink your coffee, that counts. So yes, you're able to keep writing, but do not hold yourself to that higher number. It literally is a hundred words a day. Now, of course, you might want to increase your word count over time, but I want you to do this really slowly. Now, first of all, you're not allowed to increase your daily habit where you get to celebrate for 100 words for at least 30 days. You got to do it 30 days in a row before you try to go up to 200 words, 250 words, and so on. And I do recommend you slowly increment it up. So go from 100 words to maybe 200 words, 200 words to 250, then to 350, okay? Again, just think big picture here. If you get up to just 500 words a day, just 500 words a day, which is 
half of what the minimum Stephen King says you have to do, you're going to be writing 182,500 words a year. That's at least three novels. And so think about that. You're going to go from zero words a day or basically zero words a day to 100 words a day, which is writing a novella each year. And if you just slowly every month or so increment your words up and you even just get to 500 words a day, you're going to be writing so many more words and reaching all of the goals that you set out for as far as your writing. But as I'm talking about incrementing up, here's what I want you to know. Always be willing to go back. If you find yourself missing more than one day, if you miss two days in a row, I want you to go back to 100 words a day. The whole goal here is momentum and just writing every single day. If you write every single day, you will hit whatever goals you set out for yourself. So this is about creating the habit. And if you ever increment too high and you start missing a day or two days, you need to go back to 100 words and start over. And it's totally fine. You don't have to feel shame. You don't have to feel like an idiot. You just go back to 100 words and keep that celebration going. The other thing I'll mention here is it's really helpful as a writer to know what you're going to write next. All right. So if you're writing 100 words a day, it'll probably just be the continuation of wherever you left off the day before. But I have found that if you sit down to do your tiny habit and you don't know what you're going to write, you can often just spin and spin and spin. So while you're making the coffee or whatever your anchor habit is, just keep in mind, be thinking about, okay, this is what I'm gonna write when I sit down to write my 100 words. You don't have to do a ton of planning. You don't have to plot out a bunch of stuff. You just kind of have to know this is where I'm gonna start and this is how far I'm gonna get in my time. This is a system I use to create a writing habit. It's a system I've taught to thousands of writers to help them create writing habits. And the biggest mistake I see people make that just kill the writing habit is trying to write too many words too fast. So keep the habit tiny, 100 words, attach it to an anchor habit you're already doing, and make sure you add in that celebration every time you hit your goal. And then what you'll see is month after month, year after year, that writing habit is gonna add up and you're gonna hit every goal you have with creating the kind of writing you want. So of course, the goal, if you're not writing anything, is to go from not writing anything to writing something and creating a habit around that. But then as you start to write, you're gonna run into that problem of, oh, I need to get better at writing. It's not just producing the words, I need to produce the right words. And that's what we do here at StoryGrid. So this is why you need to subscribe to our channel, like this video, hit that bell so you get notified of all the trainings that we put out. Make sure you go to storygrid.com. We got lots of great resources there. Sign up for the newsletter. That's where we put out all our latest stuff. But as always, thanks for being a writer. Thanks for being a part of our community here at StoryGrid. And I'll see you next time.